Hi guys, so today I'm going to make a little clip just because I was asked. Um, and you have to pardon my appearance, it is my day off. I did run a brush through my hair, didn't put my glasses on. Anyway, we're going to discuss how I make patterns. Um, I don't buy them. I do watch on the internet and I'll say, oh, that's a cute idea, simple enough. Uh, the problem being, most of the patterns that you see are in centimeters. Okay, the only ruler I have is that has centimeters on it is a Bates National, which you can see it's metal. And I'm getting older. So you look here. Do you see how hard that is to figure out? And I can actually see it when I hold it like this. I don't have depth perception. Uh, I have one eye trained for far away and one eye trained for close up, and it creates its own challenges. Um, I also don't have depth perception. It is cork back, really nice, great for straight edge, absolutely horrible for those markings. Um, I can't see them. I can't. Oh, and as a matter of fact, I'm holding up the inch side. This is a centimeter set. I don't ever use it for markings. It's an amazing uh, gift that I got and awesome, great straight edge, horrible for this. So what I do is I normally get um, an idea from the internet. Uh, I'll see just a flat, you know, I, I try to keep them simple. If I'm going for something more um, complicated, I freehand it. Okay. But so in this case, I am uh, stealing an idea for a um, gift card holder and small purse, which I saw she just did. She folded it over, went like this, and it was really cute, really simple, complimentary colors. Um, why is that she's got it? in, uh, I, I don't know what, it, it's in centimeters, it's got music, it's too much. I thought, oh, cute idea. So now I'm going to show you how I make a pattern, how my mind works. And I will tell you the first one I make is normally not a functional project. Um, and I do this with things that I'm going to mass produce. This I happen to be wanting to produce for, uh, birthdays next year at work. I can make these. Once I get the pattern down, I just cut them out, sew them, fold them, sew one, one little stitch. This is amazingly simple. First, you got to figure out what you're doing. Um, like I said, hers were in centimeters. I don't, it's just a, anyway. So here's how I figured out. She started out with a rectangle. I have this old gift card. This, I don't know, we had a little bit of money on it and the place went out of business and so now we don't have any use for this but I do so I have the little slide in I have this and that just gives it all right so the first thing I did was I went one two three hmm that's about right and I snipped it then I went in and actually folding folded it because the folds are going to take a little bit and I, I folded it in thirds and this and said, okay, that's going to be about the right size. And I folded this over. Hmm. Okay. So this piece of fabric was much larger. Um, let me see here if I've got it. Yeah. It was much larger and a little bit harder to manipulate than that. Okay. But you get the drift. I didn't cut the square first. I marked it one, two, three, folded it in triple because that's what I would need fold it in half because that's what I need. Went like this. Went, hmm. Should come out about the right size. Okay. Then she took and she cut um, corners out. Um, and these are my first attempts. Now, I say attempts because I did go in. Let me see if I can. Um, I don't know if you're seeing that or not, but I went in and put the little corners down. I wish my computer would quit messing up. Uh, hold on just a second here. See what I can do. It's not really cooperating with me. Okay. So I think I got it. Um, so I laid these, uh, I just went, and when I was figuring out the corners, I went like this. Now, keep in mind, I've just folded it over, you know, my card. I literally went in and measured 
of this like this. I went, hmm, that's what I need for the fold over. Let's take off a little less. Uh, I mean, a, a little more because I'll have, you know, I want it to be smaller. I took off a little more. So I made my little thing like that. Okay. And poof, I cut these away. Now, at the same time I'm doing that, I also did my lining. I just laid them down together. And so I'm literally working on, once I got the, the rectangle about the size I needed it, I laid the a piece of, of line with it, did everything um, with the lining. Okay. So then I took this to these and I just started with a little standard allowance. Now I did not do this round at first. The first thing I did was I made it square. Less work when you're figuring out a pattern. So I went, you know, up square, square. Then when I folded it, I, I would actually turn it is I would turn this inside out and then I'd fold it and go, huh, this is going to work. Now, the one thing that I didn't do is I did not do the final seam. I turned it right side out. Uh, I also decided to make my top, you know, take the, the corners off and make it three sides. It's just easier for me when you're figuring out a pattern. All right, so I have this. It actually looks like this one is narrower. It, it's not. Um, it's playing on the camera there, okay? But, and I I have gone back and cut several, you know. So, uh, the thing is, is I will never really do these. This is what I'm going to make my pattern off of, okay? So I've done all the measuring. I've actually turned this inside out several times. And um, my camera is actually. I've turned this right side out, inside out, poke the thing. You see there's two or three stitches attempting to make it perfect. Now, here is how I make my pattern. I know that this is a straight edge and this is a straight edge. This is brown paper. You can use a brown paper sack from the grocery store. You can use whatever. I know this is a straight edge. So I'm literally, and this is a straight edge because of the way that my thing comes off. So I know this is a straight edge as well. So I'm going to line it in the corner. I'm not going to worry about anything uh, to do with, um, is it straight? Is it whatever? I'm just going to line this in the bottom, this and th I'm making a pattern, not a, uh, I'm making a pattern, not an item. So then I'm going to lay it down here and I'm not going to give it very much uh, extra because I know this is the size I need. So I'm literally going to lay this and there's that. once I get it on there, I am going to line it up with a mark here to make sure that I'm square. And I'm just going to go like so. I know that this is now the width of the fabric that I need. Then I never took any off of this top, so I know that this needs to be up. And since I know this is straight and this is straight and I need to touch that, I am going to one, two, everything should line up. Ta-da! I now have the correct square that I need. Now I'm going to place this back in here. And I probably will never cut another square to do this with because I will have the exact pattern. So I'm going to say I need this much out and this much out. Now I'm only going to make one of these because whatever I do here, I'm going to mirror over here. And this I am literally going to take and I don't like how rounded it came out. I'm just going to figure out. I could put a round there. I could use something round. You know, well, oh, this is a cute corner. We might do that. See there? We'll just line that up. And I'm going to use that and make my corners like that. Okay. So whatever I do on this side, I'm then going to take good old paper scissors. Okay. Don't use your fabric scissors for this, please. You will hate yourself if you do. Um, 
and literally just cut this out and you have your pattern. Um, it will, oh, there is one other adjustment I did make to it. That's, it. that's, that's the one thing I thought was really cool about this. So I'm going to cut this out. I'm doing this this way for a reason. Then I'm going to lay this over like this. Okay. The paper will slide, and I don't like it when it slides. I mean, you know the difference between cutting a, uh, one piece and two pieces. I want it to be, this is a pattern to use, and I want it to be my way. So I'm just, and voila. It matches. Now, the one thing that I saw different. Uh, oh, I was going to put corners on that. Oh, I'm going to flip it the other way. Okay, so then I'm going to line up and I'm going to make my corners. I said I was going to make these rounded. So literally, on my pattern, I'm going to round them. That's what I just said I'm going to do. Now, the one difference in what made me make this was that she took, and I don't know if it'll show up very well on camera, maybe, yeah. Okay, see how this slants down, and this one's square? So, I am going to do the same thing on here, okay? And I am going to take one side, oh, um, and literally, someplace in here, here's my, where's my thing? One of these scraps is where I took off, I'm looking for it now. Ah, I don't know where it went. It's where I took off the extra. And you could lay that little scrap down and put in there. But, oh, no. Oh, no, I've lost my little scrap. But um, when I was doing it, I ran the rotary just down this. So if I wanted to make it exactly like that one, but I don't really think that the um, degree of angle matters. So I'm just going to run me a line right there. Eh. And, and you could lay this up there and go, okay, it needs to be this. I might make it a little deeper. So I will take this and go like this. All right, now I'm just going to cut, remember use your paper, scissors, not your fabric scissors or you will hate yourself. Don't let your kids make patterns out of it. I got a bump right there. Bubble. There we go. All right, so I have now the pattern that we'll make this okay then I also have my seam allowance because my seam allowance was already on this one and then I can now mass produce these and I will show you I know it sounds corny but I will show you that this actually works for making patterns and making you know I've ripped out on this one and done once you get it the way you want and you can do these simple one piece or, or one piece patterns, one items that have one piece to them, a simple front and back. Uh, you can do a ton of these off of this pattern. You don't have to guess. You don't have to measure. There's no measuring. There's no, and you saw I just got my measurements from the card. I don't have time to convert centimeters to inches and to, you know, hang on, this thing is I've lost my little stick, but I get, oh, there it is. Okay, so I have a turning stick. That's what I call it. Anyway, so then we're going to push this out. And you will see that this little pattern that I just made with this sad looking little thing, I may not get all my corners around it here, but this, I was to press it would now fold over to this, to this, okay, and it makes those two spots. 
Now I do tend to hold mine. You, you can pin yours. I hold mine so that about a quarter of my finger is over it and that shows me that this will fit in. It's easier to do the other way. I mean, I'm not used to doing things on camera. So I'm going to line this up here and I could pin it because this side isn't going to have a stitch on the one I saw. You're just going to stitch here to there. So once I put that, because the pin is going to be my seam allowance for that one stitch, and I want to make sure that my card fits in there. It does. This fits in there. And of course I'll press and, and the seam will go from here across here. And then this with a little cam snap and it becomes a gift card. So this is not my original idea. Saw it done, wanted to mimic it. And once I mimicked it, I'm pretty happy with it. I wanted to make sure that I had a pattern. So I just did and it fits very nicely. And the thing I like is there's a holder there and then there's a, a bigger one here. So yeah, it only seems right there. So this is a little bit wider up top, but yeah, you can put money in there. You can put, you know, whatever. And then you can have this one in here and there'll be a seam across the bottom and a snap. So that's how I make patterns is I just watch and say, Hmm, that's pretty simple. And a lot of times when people make their videos, you know, they, they show it the original size and they snap the fingers and it's a different shape. I just look at it and figure out what that shape is and then make my own brown paper is great for this. And I will go in and put gift card holder on this and fold it. Now, my only thing is, is I am trying to find a way to keep all of my patterns organized. Um, I have some for pants that I've made. I have some for shirts. I have some for these little things. I don't know how I'm going to organize them, but that might be an upcoming video because I'm going to figure it out. 